Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, I've been gone to the Renegade Woodcarver's uh, Roundup and I, I just posted a, a video of it. And now I'm back with this uh, old old uh, farmer that we're doing. Uh, I started him out and we cut him out without a bandsaw. We just did it with tools. But with that, I'm gonna get in and we're gonna start working all over. He's still uh, needs to be roughed out some more and I've decided on this piece here that I'm going to uh, uh, Do the complete video uh, Of this guy here to show you every step So I'm taking a number nine gouge About a 10 millimeter or 3 8 and I'm working in where this neck is right here Getting that in first and we're still blocking this guy in. Uh, he's a lot of wood removal on it, but he's, it'll be worth it when I get him in. I'm getting this neck down. Over there. You got to get a little bit more right in here. All right, there's the neck there. Now, I am going to draw back the lines where the neck will be just to give you an ideal uh, <clears throat> of how we're going to bring this neck in right in here also. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and, and while we're in there, I'm going to take this uh, <clears throat> number nine gouge and I'm going to start coming down and I'm going to bring this neck in a little bit more to where my lines are uh, let me draw the lines in the back too so you give have an idea of what it's like it'll be about right here but what we're what I'm doing, we're just blocking this guy in still, and uh, going down to my lines with my tool. So I hope you don't get bored with me, but just uh, I, <clears throat> I just thought I'd go ahead and do one from start to finish. And uh, I think I'll even uh, paint him also. Now, we got that neck in there. That looks pretty good. Now, it needs to be a little bit rounded, but I've got the head blocked in. Now, what I want to do is come in, and I'm going to bring my stomach back in and, and, and this chest area. I'm going to go in and start scooping this wood out. And developing where my chest will be in the stomach. Like that. And come in. I start about right here where that pocket is. And I'll come on down and go over to my lines over here where my arms are. Like that. Let's bring this down a little bit more here. We really want to make this stomach kind of stick out a little bit. He's got like a beer belly, a beer gut. <clears throat> There we go, like that. He's he's getting some more profile in there. We'll bring this. We will have to get in later and um, round that neck a little bit more, but it's really not right now. It's not the time to do that. 
really just kind of getting the shape in there right now. I still might have to bring that neck back a little bit. All right, let's turn back around, work a little bit more over here. And I'm gonna put overalls on this guy, on this old farmer. Turn around here and it'll work where that leg is gonna be. And the pocket area. Now, right back in here, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna stake my number nine gouge and start removing wood right up in here to, the, to establish the back of these arms like that. And I, I don't want to use a V tool right now because I don't want to commit to any kind of angle at the, at this time. But his uh, back will be pretty much arched because he's just the way his stance is. He's going to be kind of arched. And I'll work it around this way. Can you see that okay, Peyton? Yep. Okay. Right in here. Now this this will tuck back into where his pocket is, but I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to round these arms quite uh, yet because uh, got some more d to work to do on the lower part of the legs. Now, just getting in there and gouging this out. Now, I will take um, a V tool here now and uh, I'll get a soft V. Let me set that down and reach back here and get me up. A soft V right here, uh, <clears throat> and I'm going. I'm going to come in right in here and uh, kind of establish that arm just a little bit more with this soft V, like that right there. And we'll do the same on this side. And I'll lay that, this uh, soft V on its side and kind of chisel out the center too to clean up my gouge marks. That's the beauty of this tool here. You can, you can use it as a chisel and as a, as a V or just a separation tool. <clears throat> Like that right there. Now let's take a little bit more right out in here. And bring this down to the, this area right here. Okay. He's coming about. He's coming about. Now what I'd like to do is come in here and start separating this a little bit more uh, let's see let me get where I can see it here can you see that Peyton all right yep. let me make the cut and then I'll kind of show you there right in here and I'm gonna work this uh, out out in here also Yeah, I'm going to go this way, I believe. Mm. Work up and up to this area right in there. 
Now, I'm going to take this little number seven gouge, and I'm going to come in here and start making the, trying to make me a separation in here to uh, break through on these legs here to get some, to show some daylight. What are we looking at on time there, Peyton? Mm, got about 10 more minutes. 10 minutes, okay. <clears throat> That's good. All right. See how how they're bowed out there. I'll work on this side here, and then I'll go to the back and work some. And here you just take little little cuts. And this uh, number seven, it's got enough sweep in there that it'll it'll reach in there and get you some a good bite on on this leg and see I'm looking for these legs to curl out to, to bow in there now let's turn it around and and do it back here also and see I work down this way with them like that then I'll turn around Do a little on this side. And if you notice on the bottom, I've got my feet drawn out. I want to stay within these lines. I don't want to get in there and uh, and take away from my feet. But his feet are probably going to be together, so... Most of the daylight's gonna be right in between this area right here where I'm working. You just gotta keep working at it and you'll eventually come through and get daylight. Now, I will go over with a knife and remove my gouge marks or a flatter chisel. But once again, I'm coming in here. You see, I'm staying within those lines to where my shoes are going to be. Now, let's take a, a little wider gouge. Uh, let's see this number five it, it I'm gonna kind of clean that up a little bit with a number five like this right here now that's all I did there is just kind of clean that up a little bit. Now I'm going to get back in here. I want to try to break through and get some daylight in between these legs. I think I'm just about there. Can you see that there, Peyton? Yep. Right in here is where I'm trying to break the daylight through. All right, let's see. Let me come in here. and I, I, I'm... Reaching through now. Let's see, Peyton, let me turn around this way so you can kind of... Can you see that in there? Yep. All right. Then I've reached the daylight through there. Could come out a little bit more right in here. <clears throat> and I won't start rounding this guy yet till we get him really blocked out. He's like I said, right now we're just blocking this guy in. Now let me take a knife and kind of clean this up here. 
reach right in here, Peyton, and, kind of, and watch how I kind of clean this up here a little bit with my knife. And I've got a little ups, an upsweep knife here that I'm using. And let's see, I'll come in. Uh, let's see, let's, let's go right in here with this soft V and start rounding these legs a little bit on the upper half. And I'll come right in here and kind of work this in right here. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to round this hat a little bit. Uh, right in here, I got this little area a little drawn out. I'm just going to kind of, on the brim of this cap, I'm going to start rounding it just a little bit. Like that right there. Now we can kind of round these, the, the hat, start rounding the hat a little bit. And the back of the head, we can start rounding it. But what I'm going to do, I've got this pretty much blocked in. And uh, what I'll do... Uh, uh, we'll start working on this face and we'll get it done and then we'll just go down uh, to the feet area as we go. Because I'm pretty much got it where I need it to be. Uh, let's round, while we're at it, let's just round this arm just a little bit right there and here. Right in here. What we're looking at on time there, Peyton? Mm, got about two minutes. Two minutes? Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, start around. taking this cap. And we want to start bringing this here to this right in here. We're going to bring to a wedge to get... The shape of the face. Work over to my lines. Take off all my drawing I did on there. We may go over just a little bit, Peyton. I want to get this okay. Bring the stop cut across there. I did want to say to everybody I was at the Renegade with, hello, and it was good to see everybody. And if you hadn't been to the Renegade Woodcarver's Roundup, you need to get over there. It's lots of fun. A lot of good carving experience over there. And just a lot of good fun. And there's going to be another one in October. And you can get with Steve Brown and uh, he'll get you signed up and let's just a little bit more Peyton I'm going to do one more thing well, where are we at on time Peyton mm, about 15 seconds uh, okay well, we're going to go over just a little bit mm -hmm. right in here I'm going to take this little area out right here with a gouge cut 
because that's where my sideburn will lay. But I do want my ear to stick out. So the sideburn will be in here. Now I will go off camera. I will draw the lines back on where, what I'm going to do. But there's that. Now I'm going to cut this little area off right in here. And then we'll probably stop for the on this video and and start on we can start on the next video we'll do some more rounding one more thing Peyton let me round this back over here just a little bit more and then we'll go from there because I'm gonna have to do this anyway no matter what Okay, I think right there we've done <clears throat> quite a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I got this ear sticking out. We broke daylight through, and we've got the arm sticking out here. Started rounding the head. Next video, we're going to concentrate on the head. We're going to work on the head and get it going, and then we'll just kind of work our way down. We may work a few other places uh, if necessary. But anyway, uh, uh, everybody with that, uh, we'll see you on the next YouTube. Happy carving to everyone. See you later. Bye.